welcome back welcome to this video where we will be talking about a number of puzzles related to exception handling we learned a little bit about exception handling in the previous videos and we will test it in this specific video now let's start with a very basic example so this is the code you are seeing right now so try 10 by 0 except type error except zero division error print end what will be the output for this think about it let's run it cool the output is zero division error and end because this would throw a zero division error this is where it gets handled so zero division error gets print and end is printed and you can see that the exit code is successful exit right so it's properly exiting the program now let's look at the next one comment and comment now i would want to do 10 by 0 here i'm saying object you know that object is the super class of all the classes right so can i put object in here and say zero division error what do you think will happen let's try it you see that it throws an error catching classes that do not inherit from base exception is not really allowed so what the exception says catching classes that do not inherit from base exception is not allowed so even though object is a valid class you cannot catch with it you can only catch those classes which inherit from base exception i've imported the built-ins and i'm doing a help built-ins as we did earlier and you can see the hierarchy right so base exception inherits from object so only those classes which inherit from base exception you would be able to handle and one of them is exception so you can either handle base exception or exception or any of the things which is under exceptions now let's comment this and let's uncomment the next puzzle so over here we are handling base exception so this is throwing divide by zero error and handling base exception what do you think will happen it says base exception and end what happens is this is throwing a divide by zero error right so this is throwing a zero zero division error and you would see that zero division error is under arithmetic error which is under exception which is under base exception so you can either catch this or this or this or this if you catch any of those four you would see that the exception gets caught one of the things you are already noticing in here is the ide says two broad exception clause generally you should not handle too broad a clause you should have specific exception handling clauses for the exceptions that you would expect now let's pick up arithmetic error from here you can see that zero division error comes from arithmetic exception so if i do arithmetic exception in here what do you think will happen the exception would still be caught however if i do an overflow error right so overflow error is different from a zero division error and it's not part of its hierarchy so zero division error does not inherit from overflow error so what would happen if i do overflow error you'd see that the exit code is one we are not handling the error because zero division error is thrown this does not match so it throws the exception outside so the exception is not really handled so you should be very careful and you should understand the exception hierarchy before you try and handle exceptions now let's look at the next puzzle try 10 by 0 and over here i'm using a new syntax the thing is you can also handle multiple errors in the same block so the way you can do that is you can put a parenthesis and put the errors you would want to handle in here here i would want to handle zero division error and type error so if either of these exceptions happen you'd see that this block would be able to handle it so if i run this right now it would print exception and end the same thing would be the output if i have a type error being thrown so if sum of one comma one what does it throw i'm trying to add a number with a string so what would happen it would throw a type error right so let's see what would happen mm -hmm. you can see that the same code gets executed so this exception block will be able to handle now two kinds of errors zero division error and type error the last puzzle shows how you can get the exception details so over here what we are doing is accept type error and adding in as error 
Sometimes you would want to get the details of the error and print them out. So the way you can get that is you can say as error and you can print the details out. Let's see what would be the output in this case. You can see that the output is unsupported operator for plus int and string. Typically when we are debugging, it's important to see more details, right? If somebody said print exception and you have this, you don't know what exception has really happened. So having specific details will help much more. So here we are saying print error and it says unsupported operator type for plus intent string. Then probably you can look at this and figure out, okay, this is what the problem is. Instead of saying something generic, it's always good to say something specific and having the error variable in here helps us to add more value to the message we are printing to the output. There you go. These are some of the important puzzles related to exception handling. There are two new things that we have learned in this specific step. One is you can handle multiple exceptions. All that you need to do is put them within parentheses and you can have multiple exceptions handled. The second thing we learned was you can get the error details. You can get the exception details. All that you need to do is accept the type of the error as your variable name and you can get the details of the exception which is thrown. I hope you are having a lot of fun with exception handling and I will see you in the next step. Until then, bye-bye.